Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. So we're going to start the show the same way we do every single time I start a show. And that is by letting you know how you can join us live every Monday at noon central and Wednesday for now at 7 p.m. central. I go live. You can call in and be part of the show. The call in number is 845 277 9131. You can call in and um, ask, ask a question about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all. You get one question, make it count. You cannot ask a second question, or you should not ask a second question. It's one question. Or you can connect with a loved one on the other side. Um, if you choose to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you, like Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle. And then if you have a question or a comment for them. Okay. I will never reach out to anybody on social media asking them if they want a reading, telling them they need a reading, or asking them for money. Nope won't do that. Not at all. I'm going to start right away with the names and the songs because they are coming in so strong. Oh my gosh, I was sitting here getting ready and all I could hear is like a mirage of names and songs mixed all together. So I'm going to start with the names and the first name is, and I hear somebody just yelling, Mary Beth, Mary Beth. So this could be the name of somebody that you that has passed over and is on the other side or it could be your name or the name of somebody um here that you know so the first name i hear is obviously mary beth and then anna maria and then i hear the name <laughs> this name always makes me laugh <laughs> and i apologize alejandro <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, and then I hear the name Jose and the name um, Javier. Javier. Okay. And then I'm hearing the name um, Melissa and the name Bet Bet Betsy or Betty. Betty or Betsy. And then the name um, Axel. It's a name. People have it. Not only the guy from Guns N' Roses, I think real people have that name. Well, the guy from Guns N' Roses, in all fairness, is a real person, but I don't know that that was his birth name. But I do think people do call their kids Axel. Okay, just enough on that. Um, and then I am hearing the name Josh or Joshua. I'm hearing the name Brenda. Carly, one with Stephanie, Stephanie. Okay, and then the songs I'm hearing is that song, Rosanna, take me all the way, Rosanna, yeah. <laughs> and if you know the song, you know the song. Now I am going to say for the songs, this could be a song they loved, you loved, you listened to together, or the song could be something that answers a question that you have in your head right now. The next song is um, Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody. And then the next song is um, uh, There's So Many Coming In At Once. It is uh, I can't make any of them out, but the next song is Dancing Queen. The Dancing Queen, uh, something and something, um, that song. And the next song, I'm asking them to back off a little bit and just feed them to me one at a time. And this is a really important part of the show to me, because if you don't get to ask a question on YouTube or you don't get to ask a question online, and you just want to know if your loved one's there, then you get to know through this part too, okay? Okay, the next song is um, Living on a Prayer. The next song is um, Live and Let Die. Live and Let Die. Don't know, 
No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. And then the next song. I don't want to sing that. I can't sing that. The next song, I think this is a song. I think this is a different verse to a song I sang possibly on Monday show. But he has like this very unique voice. And I'm going to warn you, it's a rap song. And it's probably not going to sound like a rap song coming from me as the tears of pain and shame roll out of my eyes now. And the verse I'm going to sing is, See the females twerk it. I can't even try to sing it. And I know, I can't even say if you know the song, you know it, because I can't even something about work it. Um, and I like the song. I do. I really do like that song. I just can't. That's the only part they're giving me. So that's the only part I can give you. Um, the next one, the next song I'm hearing is, or I'm hearing Kenny Loggins, and then I'm hearing Kenny Rogers. Those are the songs I'm hearing. Okay. Um, I'm going to go straight to callers. And if you have a question on you, if, if you're joining me on YouTube, thank you. Thank you for watching me uh, record or film or video this live for all the TV stations. This show does air on WSCS and um, a number of streaming stations, Roku and otherwise through Rude Rangers TV and WS. Um, they both send them out to all of their streaming channels. Um, I'm also on almost every podcast out there and radio stations. I'm on a number of television stations. I don't know them all, but I am. I know, and I know this because a woman called me about a month ago or so. And she said, I watch you on this station. I'm like, oh, where is that? And she said, it's in Florida. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm on TV in Florida. Awesome. Thank you, Scott. But I know that I'm also on TV through all of the streaming stations that Rude Ranger sends me out on. Thank you, Rudy, so much. And Scott sends me out on. Thank you guys so much for all the work you do behind the scenes to get the show out and to get it to in front of everybody on podcasts and uh, television and um radio stations. I know Rude Ranger sends me out on their their radio stations and then whatever I send myself out on that I'm capable of doing. Um, so um, I know I was going someplace with that, but I'm going to just keep keep going like, like I do, like I do. I am going to be taking callers. When I call your area code, please tell me your first name and where you're calling from and then your question or your connection to heaven. And then I'll be also taking, that's where it was, uh, questions on YouTube. Now, somebody named Lisa asked a question way before the show started. And Lisa, if you're still here, pop a pop, pop pop something in the chat just to let me know you're still here. I don't answer questions if the people aren't hanging around for the answer. I mean, that was, I came on about 15 minutes before the show started and the question was already there. So if you're still here, just pop that in. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the first caller on the call log. And again, if you want to call in, it's 845-277-9131. Right now, 205, you're live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you so much for taking my call. My name is Patricia, and I am calling from Alabama. Tony, you had um, told me probably a couple of months ago that I was going to encounter um, a couple of guys. One was going to be, uh, he was going to tell me all of these things. Um, but he was just going to be about sex, and then I would meet the true guy after that. Um, and I think this was in June. And he even gave me the date of 25, June 25. But I met the guy, um, the second guy, the real guy, on July 25. Okay. And so it's been about a month. And um, I really, really enjoyed him. Um, we've been out. We've been doing different things. Um, 
And I just want to know where do you see this going? His um his initial is F. Um and uh he he seems to kind of have it all together. Okay. So I'm so happy you met the second guy and he has it together. Um, I'm going to try to tap into not only his energy, but your energy together and see what that feels like to me. I The first word I hear is harmonious. Um, I always okay. say to everybody, take it slow. Uh, just in the beginning and just take it slow. And here's the thing. People are in such a hurry to get to the next step, next step, next step. But if this is a forever relationship, we don't need to rush it and we don't feel the need to rush it. It's when we know something's off subconsciously or intuitively that we're in that like, when's this going to happen? When's it? Because we feel something's off and we, we want to pr almost prove it wrong to get there. But I feel like this is a very harm harmonious connection and i do feel like this connection could stand the test of time the one thing i'm going to say and the one thing i want to say again is uh take your time with it and not because you're going to find necessarily find something negative but enjoy the process of getting there because what is getting there getting there is like the end result, right? So enjoy the process mm -hmm. of getting there. Enjoy the process of the getting to know each other and the dates. Enjoy the process of taking your time and being in this situation with this person. Take your time and just really enjoy getting to know each other. That's the biggest message I have. And not because anything negative is going to pop, more so because they just want you to really um, be able to enjoy this process. Okay. That's what I'm hearing for this right okay. now. And I do feel like that if you do take your time you're going to see everything exactly the way you need to see it for this situation. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. Okay. I, I hope that Thank answered. You. You, are so, you. you are so welcome, and I hope that answered your question. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Good, good, good. Thank you so much, Tony. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you for calling in, my love. I'm going to take a question off the YouTube chat, and then um, 561, you're going to be the next caller. But on YouTube, Kirsten asking about healing my eye, uh, something with her eye, healing uh asking about healing my eyes. So I'm going to say um, anybody with anything for the eyes, but Kirsten's eye, um, all that needs to be healed, cleared, released has been healed. I get a no, we're going to heal, clear, release that. And Kirsten, what's real? I hope I'm saying your name correctly. What's funny is I feel that pulling up out the back, like straight up out of my spine. And I love that because I can literally feel it lifting out. I hope that's helpful for you, Kirsten. Um, uh, oh, it looks like a burst blood vessel. Okay, let's uh, heal the nerves and the op occipital something lobe occipital lobe let's clear heal release all that caused this and kept this and those two things also okay the here by the way everybody i'm also on tiktok and on tiktok i do mostly um healings and clearings and today's healing on tiktok was for money and um it's it's really unique and i really really love this one so the clearing i did and i've done a lot of money wealth 
um, abundance ones, but this one's different because it's like the first part of the clearing or healing is while we were in the womb, anything we picked up in the womb. And the second part is anything pre-womb to year eight which is when we are little spongy onesies and take on all the patterns, programs, and this is for money. So any beliefs or programs or anything we picked up that's stopping or blocking money, pre-womb womb to age eight is on TikTok now. You can go enjoy that. Okay, I'm going to go to the next color, 561. 561, welcome to the show. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, Tony. Um, thank you for taking my call. Hope you're enjoying your summer. It's end the summer already. And I just want to know, like, but, you know, when my job, um, there's more m m more money because right now I'm not making, you know, it's it's been, you know, um, when I took the job, I thought we'd be making more and it's not. And, you know, I've been there six months and I was wondering, is I uh, how things going to get better there. Okay. I need to ask, love, what's your first name? Stacy. Stacy, thank you so much. I just like to n n not say, hey, you or you. Um, Stacy, uh, what state are you in, love? Uh, Florida, but, but not the I didn't get hit, though. No, oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. I have a, a lot of friends in Florida and uh, some of them are experiencing a bit of flooding right now, but um, I guess. Uh, so Stacy, the first thing I'm getting is um, oh, I'm asking a couple of questions before I give you your answer because I, I want to kind of know Okay. I feel like you're not going to quit this job. Okay. I just feel like you're not going to quit. I asked, are you going to quit? I get a no. I asked, are you going to get fired? I get a no. You're going to, you're, you're probably going to be here for a little bit. Oh, oh no. Um, the next thing. Yeah, no, they, they would never fire me Yeah. because I was at the last job for three years. I was, um, Somebody referred us here because we were at the last job. I was there till three years, but they closed. That was the problem. That's why I'm not there. But I was making more money at the other place, but they closed. Okay. So that's why we're here. And mm -hmm. some people just quit that because they weren't making the money that they were making at the other place. And right now, what I'm making is significantly less. Okay. But I'm, I'm like the type that wants to stay and longevity in a job. And I, I don't, you know, it's better on a resume and everything. So Stacy, um, what I'm getting for you, and I'm going to be really super honest with you, uh, because that's, you know, I wish I could put fluff and stuff up people's button stuff, but I can't. Um, because guides and angels are mm -hmm. extremely honest. They're brutally honest so that you can make your best decisions moving forward for you. One of the things I'm hearing is this place cannot pay you more. Not now, probably not ever. It will be a very long time. It's probably not what? Pro probably probably it's not probably what? I not for a very long time. Um one of the things that I'm mm -hmm. getting is that if you need more money in, you're going to either have to switch companies or do something on the side. Now, you could do something part time on your on the side. That is is if you choose. If you're not bringing in enough money, though, one of the things, and I'm gonna just, um, Stacy, don't go any place, but I'm going to mute you because there's just a bit of background noise and I don't want to, um, I don't want that to interfere. Um, so what I'm going to say, Stacy, is uh, whatever you are doing right now, you can keep doing it. If you need or want more money in, you are going to have to either switch companies or get an, um, another position that you do part-time when you're not working, for example, on the weekends or after work. 
And I do know that right now, uh, medical transport companies, not transporting people, but transporting either medicines and or medical parts stuff from one place to the other is a pretty good side business and it pays pretty well. I have, I actually have an uncle, um, he and his wife do that and they make, they're happy with the amount they make. Every area is different in what they pay. Um, but they just deliver, um, medication to, um, like our retirement homes and nursing homes and such. And they, they love it. They love it. Um, and you can work different hours with something like that. I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe it's for you. Maybe it's for somebody else. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I, I, of course, am not the boss of you, and I cannot tell you what to do, but I can tell you these are your options. If you decide to look for another position, you will find one. I don't think you're going to look for another position to quit this job and go to another one. I feel like you might think about taking on a second position, like a part-time position. Um. I don't know what you're going to do, to be honest. I'm not getting a clear answer on that, but I don't feel like this company can give you more money. They just, right now, it's not in their budget to give it. Even if the, the company has the money, it doesn't mean they're going to give it out. It doesn't mean it's allocated in the budget to employees. So that's what I have for you, Stacy. I'm sorry it's not much better um, news for you, but the truth of the matter, here's the truth of the matter, folks. If you're with a company and I, I don't care what company you're with or what you do once, at least once a month, you should send your resume out. And a lot of people would disagree with this and that's okay. Then don't do it. Then don't, if you disagree, then don't do it. However, at least once a month, Check all the jobs out there and it should be on a Friday because on Fridays they post the people that they're firing because <laughs> everybody gets let go on a Friday and they have those posts up on Thursday and Friday or they've already been hiring for those posts. I'm going to tell you, go to companies that you want to work for and look at all of what they're hiring and see if any of it is attractive. And just, it's like fishing. Just throw your hat in the game. Reach above what you think you would normally reach above for if you're you're um, not working, okay? And here's why. The company you're at will keep you where you're at for as long as they can. Um, typically, if they hire people uh, for management positions, they hire outside of the company. And they, when they hire on new people, they hire on at the new starting wage. But if they can keep you where you're at, they will. So I say, go fishing, see what's out there at companies you want to work for. And it's always best to find a job, a new career or a new job while you have a job. Now, I, I was driving today and this beautiful realization came to me. The job that is attractive or comfortable for you when you're unemployed is very different than the job that is comfortable and attractive to you when you're employed with a little bit of experience. When you're unemployed, and let's just say uh, you're kind of needing work, you're going to take the first thing that comes in, even if it's a little guppy since we're on the fish thing. But if you're working and you have a good work record and you've been employed for a while, you're going to reach above your pay grade. You're going to reach above the title that you currently have because you, you deserve that. You have that experience and you can now reach. If they say no, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? You're, you're not, if you don't get it, you're already employed. You're good. Don't worry about it, right? Um, it's the same thing with, um, with a partner, the partner that's attractive and comfortable when you first break up with somebody is probably somebody who's, you know, hurt and unhealed and 
and not the person you, it's a rebound for a reason. It's a bouncy toy for a reason, my friends. It is a straight up bouncy toy for a reason. It's a ride and go for a reason. So once you heal from the breakup and then you move on, the person who's go, who you are going to be attracted to is going to be a completely different person because they are also going to be healed and they are going to be a, a different person all the way around. And when you first break up with someone, the person that you're attracted to is going to be similar to the person you just broke up with. Oh, oh, mm. uh, and you broke up for a reason, just saying what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is ride and go, just ride and go. <laughs> If you're comfortable doing that, if you're not, then don't, then don't. But what you're attracted to in a place of lack or hurt or unhealed is very different than what you will be attracted to and comfortable with once you're healed and in that place, okay? So please, by all means, by all means, um, while you have a job, Look for that new one. Okay, that was a really long answer. Hey, Sal, how are you? Uh, I'm going to go to, I think her name is Cora Baker. Cora, any advice about my relationship with my boyfriend? Um, hmm. Well, Cora, I do have a little advice for you. And that advice, I don't, I don't want to say it the way I'm he hearing it. Um, I, I keep hearing two words and I don't want to say those words because I don't have any context. Now, when I hear let go, that could mean of the partner or let go of the past or let go of, you know, uh, somebody else or something else that's in, interfering with the relationship. But Cora, there is something in this relationship that needs to be let go of. If you would like to comment in the chat, about that, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 954. 954, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Mary. I'm calling from South Florida. Hey, Mary. How are you today? Well, I'm a little distressed. I had a, a problem with the kitty today and I lost it. So I'm so I'm sorry. I'm just kind of upset, and um, because my mother was an animal lover, too, I thought maybe I could connect with her and see if she has any um, words to say regarding the situation. Okay, so the song that I heard at the beginning of the show, Live and Let, Live and Let Die, is coming back again. Um, okay. it, it, yeah. I feel like this kitty is going to be crawling around you for quite some time. I don't feel like, even though the kitty is is no longer physically here, it's definitely um, going to be spiritually around you. Uh, what can I please? I'm sorry. Can I please ask your mom's name? First name. Oh, Alice. Uh -huh. Alice. Okay. Um, was Alice? Or if not Alice, who is the bigger woman, like physically a little bit bigger, like fuller of a woman? Was your mom at one point a little bit fuller? Uh, not really, no. Okay. She, she's always rather petite. She just towards the end a little weight, but um, no, she was never really full. Uh, full. Who is Her mother that? was short and fuller. Okay, I'm. I, who is the woman on the other side? Maybe an aunt or a grandma who was a little bit fuller. Because I, I, I said your mom's name, and the first thing I saw was this woman who was a little. You know, she had a little on her. She was a little thicker. If it's well, her mother was a little shorter, maybe a little on on the heavier side. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make you go through your whole ancestral line to get to the right person. But I'm going to say uh, this is the first person who showed up. If if later on it rings, I think it could be her mother because usually 
moms and grandmoms show up together. Uh, they're they're like uh, mm -hmm. in in all of it. So the first thing Alice wants to say, and I cannot be the way she's saying it. This is not me. I cannot be more clear about this. It was the best for everyone. Whatever happened, uh, yeah. as sad as it is, it was the best for everyone. There was no like no turning back at this point. What I want to say yeah. to you is. Um, uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm personally very sorry for what happened. I know it's so painful to, to lose a, a it wasn't even cat. my cat. I rescued it from someone who didn't take care of it and left it on the street apparently to die in oh. my complex. And, oh. um, so well, I knew, I knew the cat when it was well, and I knew she must have abandoned it. So okay. I took a chance. I took it to the vet and, um, it, I didn't know whether to put it to sleep, but it, God answered the prayer and took it anyway. But, uh, yeah, and I hear you should have. I just felt. I hear that, you know, whatever life this cat had with you was good and grateful, but um, it would have been okay. I'm just hearing it didn't have a chance from the beginning is what I'm hearing. Um, and we. I think, understand. I'm sorry, go ahead. I understand what you mean. It was pretty bad by the time uh, it got to the stage when I saw it. Uh, I think that she wasn't caring for it for a while. And, and what it I'm, was out in the heat. So Yeah, and one of the things I'm hearing is she may have known when she let the cat go, she may have known it was sick but couldn't care, pay, physically um, pay for the bills. So she put it Mm -hmm. Like kind of out hoping somebody who could pay for the bills or save it would be able to. And sometimes people do that and it's unfortunate. But in any case, what I'm getting is what happened is exactly what was meant to happen. And um, the, the cat, what happened, it could have happened sooner, but it's okay that it happened the way it did. And to just be at peace with everything because it was more than uh, it was like I the way I'm gonna say this is the way I'm hearing it it was bonus life for the cat okay love it was I didn't catch the last it was bonus like bonus life like bonus time for the cat like bonus, the, bonus. like the cat would have got it's alive. Like the cat, if it hadn't been for you, the cat would have died sooner. But this, because of you, the cat yeah. got like bonus time. Okay. And good bonus time. Loving, yeah. loving bonus time. Um, and, yes. and then your mom or your grandmom, whomever this is, is saying, eat the strudel. Like make a strudel or eat the strudel, something about like an apple strudel. I don't know what that means to you. Yeah, my grandmother made those because she was German. Yeah. Okay, then we know the woman who's a little bit fuller is your grandmother, yeah. and that was the confirmation yeah, coming for sure. for sure. I love that. Yeah. Yay! I'm always so yeah, for happy. Sure. so happy when that comes yeah. through for somebody when we're not sure who the like the next the second person is and then they they make a comment that confirms it for you so know your mom and your grandma oh, yeah. are always with you and they're going to be helping you over the next six months with some things um in your life okay love oh yeah i need their help they both they always help me so much and they both loved animals too so absolutely thank you very much for that you are so I do welcome. appreciate that. Absolutely, my pleasure. Many blessings to you. I think, oh, thank you, you too. You too, thank you. Many blessings to you. And I'm so grateful when I can help. And it's, it's, um, and the confirmations come through. So thank you so much. The next caller is going to be 914. So 914, hold on for a second. Um, Cora said, I would like to know more about what you mean by letting go. Okay, Cora, if you want to know more about that, please call in. The number is 845-277-9131. I just feel like it will be easier 
for me to get that information during a conversation on the phone. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, Cora, who's ever on the other side for you and the letting go comment, they're saying you know already, but you might not want to, you might not want to um, admit it or you're not ready, you're not, whatever it is that needs to be let go of, you're aware of it, but you might not be ready to do it. Now, I am going to say, and I letting go, something in this relationship needs to be let go of. It could be drinking. It could be smoking. It could be partying. It could be g going out too much. It could be social media. I don't know. You already should know, though, okay? I'm going to go to the next caller, who is 914. 914, welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Catherine from New York. Hey, Catherine. How are you? I'm good. How can I help you? I have um, a question. Um, it's for my mom. She's been having a difficult time with a home repair issue. And I was wondering if you think I should get um, an adjuster involved, an independent adjuster or if you think now that I have some new information to present the insurance company, I should just handle it myself. Um, I I hear the word adjuster. And does this have something to do with plumbing or pipes? Um, with price? No, plumbing. Yes, yes. Like they're trying to underpay. Right, yeah. I okay. feel they're trying to underpay for the damage. Okay, and it is this. Um, does is there any? I'm I, I question, and then I'll let them go. On. Is this? Does this? Whatever is be needs to be worked on. Does it have anything to do with plumbing or pipes? Um. No. Okay. I'm no, gonna. It's um. Plumbing would be involved in another part of the house, though. So I see where you're saying that, but it's not the, um, like, the biggest or the most pressing issue. But I want to throw that aspect in there, too. Okay. So what I'm getting is you may need to get a third party to validate the expense and... I have, like you said, an adjuster or what do they call that when people give you um, a uh, the, an estimate? A contractor, uh, like an estimate? Yes, get estimates yes. Um, and say these are the estimates. And what I would say is um, call high-end contractors to get estimates because they don't always, if you get low end or the least, they usually will pay what is the least they can. Okay. So what I would do is get high end estimates right, right. and then also possibly an adjuster. And I do feel like you do need to get somebody in there to look at it again, because I feel like I may be hearing plumbing because there may be an there may be a little bit more to this than you know. So make sure whoever's giving the estimate, um, they've really looked at like all the nooks and crannies of this, all the behind the wall, behind the scenes sort of thing of this. Um, so that's what I'm getting for you. And yes, get get the estimates, get the adjuster. If you know, he, here's what I say. It, when you're going up against... Uh, uh, an insurance company or um, a, uh, whatever, and whatever it is, you take all the evidence you can. You take every piece of artillery with you, or how, wh however you want to phrase that. You have all the tools or all the presentations that you need, because otherwise it's just going to prolong it. Because they're going to say, "Ah, no, we need this," or "Oh, no, this isn't," and it sets you back to the beginning again. So, but don't back down. 
Do not back it's down. Right. It's been going on for forever. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Do not back down. Yeah. Get, get the estimates, get high end estimates, and then get an adjust and send them in and say, these are the estimates. That's it. And, and just say, let us know when we will, you know, have that money and um, see if in the meantime, you can find an attorney that will handle it and charge the insurance company for the services that they're providing since the insurance company is not being cooperative. Yeah. Okay. But if the insurance company is not yeah, going to force, yeah, so an adjust go ahead, love. Sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I was saying, um, so an attorney and an adjuster, but only Both. an attorney, only I if, guess. Only if an attorney, only if they will have the insurance company get their money, make the insurance company pay them. Okay. Don't let that come out of your pocket. That kind of defeats right, the purpose. Right. Okay. Um, insurance companies yeah. know how yeah. to play the long game and they know there's a deadline on things. So, it's kind of like hurry up and get everything to them and wait for their response and then hurry up and get everything to them and wait for their response. But they play the long game because they know people mm -hmm. will get so frustrated. They'll just drop it. Don't get frustrated. Don't drop it. Okay. Yes. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I feel so bad. My mom's been going through it. Yeah. Um, so do I. Yeah, that's, it's always so difficult with insurance yeah. companies. It really is. It really is. Well, I wish the both of you luck moving forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, sweetie. God bless you too. And you are so welcome. Um, I want to say hi to a couple of people who have uh, come on. Uh, Sal is here. Um, C. C is here. I think your name is C. Michael. Hey, Michael. How are you? So happy you could get to the live. Maris is here. Um, and Genevieve. Uh, Cora, if I get more on that, what needs to be let go of, Here's what I'm going to say. If something happened, Cora, between the two of you, whatever it was, and one of you may not be letting go, go of, even if you don't bring it up, it just sits in your mind. I'm not sure. They're just saying something needs to be let go of. And I, I wish I could give you more on that. Um, okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is, I can't remember who the next, 914. Is it 914, everybody? Did I just say 914 is the next caller? I don't remember. Oh my goodness. I don't remember. I'm, I hope 914 is the next. Hey, 914. Uh, welcome to the oh, show. I know. You just took me. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. You just so. took me. Yeah. I sometimes forget. Okay. 203. 203. Welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Michelle. I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Michelle. How can I help you? Well, um, I had to tell him today that at my job that I will not relocate to California. So this will transition me out of the company. And all of a sudden today, I started getting calls from companies. I started like, and not specific companies, but like things I've been dreaming about. I said, well, if I'm going to do something, why don't I do AI or why don't I do robotics? And that's who I got calls from, like out of the blue. I didn't apply. And uh, I, I'm just wowed. So I was wondering if you, if some, you know, I know at least one of these is way out in Oregon. I mean, but that's uh, I mean, it's a chance of a lifetime. I don't have any degree in robotics or, you know. Yeah, well, most so people. I was wondering what you saw for me. 
Okay, so most people with AI, robotics, um, cybersecurity, most people don't have degrees in that. They're willing to pick pick up a good person and right. train them. I think if you get the opportunity, you should run with it. Um, a lot of these positions might be able to be remote positions after training. But either way, if it's your dream, just go for it. And even, you know, yeah. Even if it, if the first or second one doesn't work out, keep going. You're going to find the right one to work with. Okay, love? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. You are so I mean, it's, a, it's a big move. If, if I take one of these, it's... I don't know if I can do it. I mean, it's, it's a lot, you know? It's a lot well, to go cross-country with six cats, so... Um, here's what I'm going to say. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it's just time to start over. Sometimes it's just yeah. time to let go of everything we've known and do something we've never done before. Um, animals acclimate very, very quickly. And what I will also say is perhaps, you know, perhaps it's remote and think of it one day out of a, one day at a time over, mm -hmm. over it being, you know, a whole big life change and know that when opportunities come, I would rather take the opportunity and see where it leads me, then say no and live with the regret of what could have yeah. been. Okay? Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Well, maybe I'll, I'll schedule a reading with you when uh, in, in, in a little while, like maybe a week or so. That would be wonderful. I would absolutely love that. I would absolutely love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, love. Uh, good luck. Okay. Please. Anybody reaching out to you, reach back out to them and get on to the companies that you would love to work for in those departments and just start filling things out also. Okay, love? Okay, thanks. You are welcome. You are absolutely welcome. I hope you have an amazing day. Genevieve has joined us and Mares, um, thank you so much for um, being here. If I haven't said that already, I'm going to go to the next caller who is um, 646. 646, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm calling you to see how Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ask you. You're very muffled, so if you're using something to speak on, I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh, this is uh, I can, okay. I'm walking out. This is uh, Stacy. How are you? Can you hear me better now? Yes. I okay. Turn the volume up on the phone. How are you? Hey, I'm good, Stacy. How are you today? I am doing pretty good. Um, I'm having issues with the landlord. We go to, if he shows up, we go to court on September 13th. I am looking to leave. I just want to clear my name so that it, nothing affects my credit score. Do you see him showing up? Yes. 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 Okay. 100%. Yes. 100%. Um, I feel like once it gets to court, it might be a bit of a negotiation. I do feel like, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a middle of the road sort of thing. Um, I do feel like prior to court, you should try to reach out to him and give him one more opportunity to settle everything in the best way that you possibly can. But if you can't take every record, every everything you have to court with you and then just let the judge know or whomever you're in front of know, listen, I just really need this to be clean moving forward so that mm -hmm. I can 
um, rent at a reasonable, like reasonable rate or, you know, not, not have a black mark on my, uh, rental thing because it's crazy finding a place and w with a good <laughs> rental history, it is, it is super crazy out there right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> I do not know, I'm love. I'm bringing him to corporate. I'm sorry, yeah, love? I'm bringing him to corporate tenant harassment because he took the door off. So it's a tenant harassment kind of situation. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, believe. Yeah, tenant harassment. I don't. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. Um, and I'll give you a funny little story of my own. Um, depending upon what state you're in, I do not believe it's legal to take the door off. However, however, if he says he was remodeling or doing work on the house, and he can say that whether it is true or not, he might be able to get away with it. I was um, living in a place and I was getting ready to move and the landlord came in and totally, and I was getting ready to move, but I couldn't move yet, but took out my toilet to replace it, but replaced the floor first. He can have his place back. I just want to clear my name. Yeah. Okay. So because he was remodeling, I could technically go three days without a toilet. I don't think so. You know what I'm, do you know what I'm saying? He just, he had just bought yes, the building. Yes. He wanted to get it up to date. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to say. Depending upon what he says in court will determine where it goes. I do feel like you should, I don't even know if he can clear your name. I think that what I'm hearing right now, that truly has to go through the court system if it's already in there. But I do feel like there will be a negotiation and there will be an amicable, they're not saying favorable, but an amicable settlement. Okay, love? Okay, that sounds good. Oh, okay. You do see me, because I'm going to be trying, I'm trying to find a new place anyway. So I'll go to court. If it's an amicable settlement, settlement, that's fine. I'm leaving right after that. Now, and <laughs> so that's I, good. excellent. Now, I don't, again, I don't believe any landlord, any place can remove your door. There's just safety issues with that. So I think just on that premise alone and how long the door was removed for um, can be very uh what do they call that solid evidence um however however it also depends upon the story that he brings to court um i think i feel like i hear the word i hear the statement mudslinging contest so for whatever that means for your situation love but i do wish you luck i really do wish you luck i am going to go to 216 216 how are you today yes hi tony this is patricia thank you for taking my call absolutely patricia um, how can i help you yes all in before uh Got out of Cleveland, Ohio last week, and I'm now I'm in Las Cruces, New Mexico, in a gospel rescue mission, my last choice, but my only option. Uh, I need to know um, if, yes, I, I really want to do, uh, get started uh, with some risk remote work but I don't have any way to do it, even with the library. And here, this rescue mission, they're all steeped in religion. They're shoving it down your throat. You got to go to, you know, the morning, you know, all this, you know, preaching and blah, 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 blah. 
and basically it just seems like, uh, you know, not really a uh, uh, you know, difficulty uh, for me, well, a challenge while I'm getting acclimated to this new town. Uh, uh, but, Patricia, what um, I would say to you what do is... I need? What I'm going to say to you, and I'm sorry that you're in that situation, and I'm just going to mute you for a second, but I will come back. I'm going to try to remember that you're 216. What I'm going to say to you, and I want to say a lot very quickly, and I don't have a lot of time left on the show. Number one, go to churches and go to stores, like smaller stores. Go to all different places and where they have bulletin boards still and... um look at what's available as far as like people renting out a place. Um, the second thing I'm going to say is check out some smaller um, papers. People still do advertise um, places for rent in papers. And I would look for what they consider like a one room unit, like a loft over anything else just to start with. I don't think this is your final destination. I feel like you're going to keep trekking further. They're pointing this way, which on a map, I'm further west. Okay, you're gonna be going further west, which is if you're watching that way, according to them, further west and a little bit south wherever that lands you. And I'm sorry, I can't tell you the exact place that that is that that's going to land you. But you're going to go a little further west and a little south and you're going to land there and you're going to have some luck or some, some, um, you're going to find some really good I don't want to call it luck, but some stability there. You're going to find a place to stay. You're going to find a place to uh, lay your head at night. And it won't be like where you are now. I feel like you are going to find a place that is more stable. I also feel like you're going to find some work. I do feel like you should be looking for some, um, I want to say remote work to start with. But whatever it is, you're going to uh have um mm, 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 mm. this uh these opportunities are going to be coming into you but it's a little bit further west and south and i'm sorry i even if i had a map in front of me i probably wouldn't be able to tell you the exact location of that however i do feel like within a month you will be moving a little bit relocating to this new area. I feel like somebody might, I hear someone said something to somebody. So you might hear this from someone who heard it from somebody about this area that you're going to be going to. Um, don't worry that it's not your final, that where you are is not your final destination. Um, just while you can, trek it a little bit further west and a little bit south, not far. It's like a town or two or, yeah, like a town or two over um, and up. I don't feel like, is south up or is north up? I think south is down. Okay, west and then south. 90 seconds. How did I make it this far in life when I don't know what direction south even is? Oh my God, I think South is down even though I keep pointing up. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. West and then South, and that's where you're going to end up and, and things will fall into place for you, love. I wish you luck. I wish you safety on your journey. You're almost there. Um, I would like to thank everybody for joining me. I will be back Monday at noon. Monday at noon for um, another show. If you did not get through today, uh, please join me Monday at noon. And I might come on this weekend. I might do a pop-up show this weekend. I love each and every one of you so, so very, very much. Thank you for being here with me. And until next time, please, by all means, take care.